Hey everyone, this is Tammy from Tammy Colors 2. So I don't have another intro for this one. Well, okay. So I could do, since I'm going to do this as part 9, I was going to do part 8A and B, but I think I'm just going to do part 9. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Spock Bear, yay, and then, um, who can be 9, do I have any more stuffed animals, I do, sort of, if I can figure out, well, I, actually, I have Flamingo, that I got from the Dollar Tree, and you can't see it, because my lights are on, but you can, if I turn them, them out, he lights up, so, he sits on my desk and makes me happy, so, he can be part of the group for part nine. Then I just come up with somebody for part 10. There's got to be somebody around here. I have something, but I have to unattach him from my light. <laughs> anyway, so that's, so you get to see all the, the cool stuff I have sitting on my desk. So we'll put them back. So it's nine. I love him. Um, let's see. Nine things. Oops. Lou just fell off. All right. If, my, if you'd see how much I, my desk isn't a horrible mess, but it's a mess because I'm reorganizing also. All right. We are going to fly through these because there's still a lot left. Um, all right. Mark Tourist Books. I've got Color by Number Nature. You have to be careful with these books because they do repeat. Um, I've tried to be very careful. That's why it's nice to see the image that's on the inside. I haven't colored anything in here. I haven't colored very much in any of these. I started, but I'm not happy using water-based markers. Um, so I've been playing around with different media. And here's the images that are in this book. I did, when I was buying books, I looked at flip videos and they would show the images by the cover. So I could tell which um, books, because this book, and I think I've gotten rid of it, um, is exactly like another book with a different color cover. It has exactly the same images in it, and I thought I had it around here somewhere, but I haven't been able to find it. Um, so you do have to be careful. And I mean the exact same images in the exact same order. Some of them will repeat images, that's not unusual, but sometimes they reprint them so that's the images in here try not to spend too much time on these it's just if you're interested a lot of people like these books they're cool so i did um let's see i'm doing this with bic markers and i don't remember what i was working on this one with but they're interesting color schemes, alcohol markers of some kind. I think we're going to have to mix markers and pencils, maybe. Our world, our beautiful world, color by number. A lot of them are by David Woodruff. This one has gorgeous images. There you can see the color palette. Da, da, da. I have not colored anything in here. If, if you really want flip-throughs of any of these, let me know. I would be happy to. Um, but I have a lot of books to go through, so I'm just trying to give you a taste of what you might want to, what's out there, and what you might want to investigate if you're interested in it. Color by number flowers. I've kind of stopped collecting these books because I don't get a chance to color in them much. Um, so until I decide, and plus I think I have most of the images. <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Anti-stress color by numbers. So if you look at enough of them, you will start to recognize images. This one is a pretty one. There's not too many that get repeated. It really just depends on on the book. Large print mindfulness color by number. 
like I've seen that one in a lot. I think that one's in one of my other ones. These are a larger print than normal. The elephant's in quite a few. That one's in another one of my books. I've seen that one before. That one. This one. So, let's see. Let me get this one out. That's the mindfulness. This is the calm. So, aha! There you can see. If you look at the colors, they look like this. Now, this one is bigger than this one. They're both large print, but they both have exactly the same images. And I just noticed that. So let's look at the back. Now, the, the palm tree one is going to have more images. So we'll figure out if it has all the same images. Because I may... Um, hard to show you because of the flat thing. Let's see, so the back page. Now these are all different, as far as I can tell. I mean, I'm not in depth. The polar bear, but this one has, the palm tree has even more images than the other one does. So, I mean, the question becomes, do I care? I mean, I, I would be tempted to get rid of this one. So I'm going to put this one on the chopping block and we'll see because I don't need to color the same image twice. Then last of the Arcturus books, I have Enchanted World Color by Number, which this one isn't repeated because it's got fantasy stuff. has beautiful images. I really want to color some stuff in here. I was starting to pick out my... I was going to do them in Prismacolor, but I may change my mind. Gorgeous images. All right. So that's your primer on um, Arcturus books. This is a Zen Master Coloring uh, National Parks color by number. I do love my national parks. <clears throat> I thought I started one in here. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> I was playing with a different media because this paper is essentially copy paper. And these Zen Masters are printed on basically copy paper, but the images are nice and the way they do their color by number is nice. So I have a couple. All right, next I have my Kira Shershneva. So we're gonna really run through these. This is a a small one, obviously, a square. They're on premium paper. It's a color by colors. I did this one. If you want to see how beautiful they come out, you just match the color. This one was a very popular tender mandolins. This is the first one she came out with, color by colors, animal, uh, animals, puzzle animals, which is really neat. Um, it has different shapes and things in the animals. I really like this one. I did I did the polar bear in the back. And then I started the guinea pig and I hadn't finished. I was I was struggling. My problem with these books is trying to match the markers enough. I don't know if you have to use Copics. I don't know if anybody has any ideas, but I stopped buying them because of that, because I was struggling so much to make my markers match. Another Kira Shishina. This is the only one I've done in here. And it doesn't look terrible. I didn't make them look match exactly. And if you get them just right, it looks like an outline, which is cool. So that's partly why I'm interested. Another Kira Shishina stained glass color by number flowers. And she has, she basically has the, um, I can't remember if it's a little bit different than the Sun Life drawing or if it's exactly the same. I would have to compare him. It's been a while. I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same. Well, no, they're not. 
very similar, not exactly the same. They have black, she doesn't. They have dark gray. That may be the only difference. All right, I digress. Oh, let's see. Uh, I have, then she has done some color by number. She has different shapes. So this one is color by number quest squares. They're all, I can't remember, four by four squares. Which I did that one. She doesn't really give, I love this picture. <laughs> I want to do that one. Um, and then she has circles. She has a triangle one also that I do not have. I did the hummingbird. Came out beautifully. Uh, she has mandala mosaics, color by number. Kira Shershneva, uh, color relaxation. I did a couple in here. I did this one. I was not happy with my color palette. I thought I did another one, but I must be mistaken. But they're pretty. That one was very popular too. And color by color stained glass mandala. This one was extremely popular. A lot of people have finished this one. I thought I did one in here. But I guess I haven't. They're beautiful mandalas. Um, on premium paper. And then, then we get into Sun Life Drawing Books. This is one of their rare small square ones. I don't remember if this is the only small square one they have. Um, so this is Color by Number Mandalas. I did, I haven't finished this one. Lord knows why, it's almost done. I did a second one. No, I guess not. I have color by number art animal stencils. Let's see, so these have some black, some not black. Some of them look 3D. Um, it's a really nice book, and I and I have told people many times my favorite markers to use in Sun Life drawing books are Tombos. The Tombos are beautiful vibrant although i think this is alcohol marker yeah i may have used i don't know i can't tell on this one it looks like i used alcohol marker on this because i was doing um testing things all right keep going i have both the black and non-black background because they came out with these and I love these so much, I went ahead and bought the black background version. Um, mosaic, animal mosaics, sun life drawing. So I had done a lot of testing, um, trying to figure out how to color in the lines because I don't like coloring the lines. You have probably learned by watching my Color Questopia books. Um, but I do, in this one, this is Tombow's, that I can tell you, for sure, it's a hedgehog. That's pencil. That's pencil. I had some pencils I was trying to use up. That is alcohol marker and the first one I ever did and I really screwed it up. So it became kind of like a test page for different things and I discovered I didn't like coloring in the lines. So there's that. I thought there was one more. There's a monkey, hang on. Oh, this one. This one I know I did in Tombos also. Let's see if they, they wrinkle it a little bit. I was trying to see if they bleed through any. I mean, you can see them some. I mean, it's just because the paper is Amazon. Along the same veins, I have both of this. Again, because I love theirs. I got the white background version first. And I don't, oh, I think I did actually did one in here. So I have to decide if I want to keep both um, or if I want to get rid of one and get, and keep the other. It's a tough decision because I love their books so much. I have obviously By the Sea Mosaics. I haven't colored any of this. This is very recent, but you can see some of the examples and I've seen a lot of colored pictures out of here. Love my Sun Life drawing. Line, color by 
number of lines and dots by Sun Life Drawing. I have not colored anything in here either. This is very new for me. World of Mice stained glass color by number. And I think that they have a large print version of World of Mice. So it's kind of, if you've never seen it, um, again, Sun Life Drawing, it's kind of a cutout image. I know that's done with Tombow's. Little fairies. I know I have not colored anything in here. I'm not truly a fairy person, but I love some life drawing. Color by number animal stencils. So this is animals. I love the way they do their stuff. I had done one. Huh. Oh no, it's the other one that I'm thinking of. Okay, so that's all the Sun Life drawing. I have a large print color by number that I would just sit and do. I haven't finished that one. Um, but you know, it's simple and I would just grab whatever cheap markers were sitting by my desk and use them. And this one I chose to color the background to practice my alcohol marker background coloring. This is by Lilt Kids Coloring Books. Um, they're nice. I mean, they're, they're large print and they're fun to do. And they're easy. And the colors aren't bad, as you can see. All right, so I have uh, Jennifer Rowling um, cartoon, color by number cartoon characters. These are four by four millimeter squares. That's the style, kind of different sizes. Um, I did one and I didn't like it. I don't know if I will keep this book, but I love Jennifer Rowling books. The markers I used did not do that justice, trust me. <laughs> but uh, but supposedly they look like this. So this one's kind of on the fence. I have Bright Ideas Paper, I think is what this one is, or Cactus Girl. It's hard for me to keep track, but they're all the same publisher. Cactus Girl. Um, so this one I haven't done anything in. It's all three by three squares. And those are some of the pictures. I've seen people do beautiful pictures out of that. Another uh, Jennifer Rowling Bright Ideas Paper Publishing. This one is a thousand dots art. I got this one. It's on premium paper um, to see if I like them. I'm pretty sure I will. It's beautiful. I think the pictures will be neat. Just got that one. Then I have Living Landscapes, uh, Alice Mills Publishing. I did do this one. As you see, I did pretty good with my markers. It looks almost exactly the same. I'm working from the back to the front in this. It has, you know, cross stitch, the tiny designs. If you have problems seeing, they're very, I imagine they'd be very hard for you. But um, normal, if you don't, um, you think it's hard, but it's not. Color of the Seasons. Color of the Seasons color by number by, did this one. Concept Manufacturing. Um, I loved the images in here. I've had this book for a while. And it looks like it's taken from different places. But it's kind of neat. It's not like any other color by number book I have. I was working on this image um, with colored pencils. Then we get into my Circulism art books. I have Natura. I did this one. The beetle. They are, are these all big? Yeah, they all go all the way up the page. All of the Circulism art books have the same palette and um, premium paper. I think you have a choice, premium or non-premium, but I always get the premium paper. I can't remember if these have the choice or not, but I'm pretty sure they do. Um, this one is Sea Life. I've done that one and this one. So you can try to decide if that's your thing. I have C, which I don't know that I have done anything in here. Nope. I have 
Happy though. I know that I have not done anything in here. It's all butterflies. Uh, mandala 2. I did not have Mandala 1. I did this one. And the rest of them are all just mandalas. I have Insect Mandala. Which is going to be very pretty. This is very new. I have Azure, Seely Zuri, which is another really new one. It's all like animal faces close up mostly. I have Circulizum Kala, which is fish. All fish. I have Echidna, which I'm not really sure what that means other than an Echidna is an animal. But it looks very Australian. It looks beautiful. Then, moving on. Oh, let's see. What do we got here? Let's do these. We have some more Jennifer Rowling um, mosaic art books. I did do the fish in this one. So that you can see what it looks like. They are 3x3 three three squares. These are some of the pictures. It's mosaics. Oh, four by four. Sorry. Mosaics, color by number, volume one. There's the color palette. I have Color Fun, which has a color palette. And these, the Color Fun books have a color by number picture and a non color by number picture that are the same. cute animals. This one has just color by number. I haven't colored anything in here. There you can get an idea of the pictures in this book and the color palette. This is again Jennifer. Oh, and this is Cactus Girl. Cactus Girl. All the same thing, but not the same thing. This one is Jennifer Rowling. I'm pretty sure color by number adorable animals on premium paper. It's either Jennifer Rowling or Bright Ideas. They are Bright Idea Paper Publishing. Bright Ideas Paper Publishing. So these are really cute. I have not done anything in here. You can't really see anything. And the Color Fun. Here's some of the ones in here. This one is Flowers. So you can get an idea of the images. Now, I was going to do both in this one, but I didn't get around to it. Um, I did this one. This is the color by number, but I haven't done the non-color by number yet. They are stunning images. All right, that's all of those. Then we get into Color Quest. So I have Color Quest Amazing Animals. And here are the answers. So they have triangles and all kinds of different shapes. Squares, triangles, circles. Color palettes are at the bottom. They're single-sided. Nice paper. There's that one. I also got Amazing Art. Same thing. It has all the shapes. And these are the images. So you've got all kinds of shapes in here. These are brand new, so I haven't done anything with them yet. Also have Colortronic, um, which I've seen a lot of people do. Here are what the images will look like once you color them. Very psychedelic. Very big, uh, large printy type. So, and the color palettes are on the side here, if you didn't notice. If you don't notice if you don't have the book all the way open. <laughs> but it looks like it has a standard color palette. Then we have the ginormous color quest books. We have, this is the original one. Um, 
here are all the images in it. If I can get them all, I can't quite get them all in because this book is so huge. I have a couple of whips. I was doing this one with uh, Shuttle Art um, permanent markers. This one I was doing with all gel pen. I don't think I'll ever do that again, but it's going to be neat. And this one I finished. It's really pretty. It's, it's a huge book. And of course I have the other ones. I have Color Quest Animals, which I have not colored in, but it's got triangles and hexagons and all kinds of different types. Um, but here are the images you, you get in Color Quest Animals. If you're curious. I think I got that one at Joanne. You can find them in all kinds of places. And then Color Quest Cityscapes, which is to me the most intimidating. So it's, some of these are very, very tiny, which is what's intimidating to me. So, but I love my color by number. And then of course I have Quirkles, which I started with the icons. Ollie's had these, so, um, but you can still get them. Here's what the images look like. Um, and you have all these circles, but you do not color all the circles. If you didn't know, you pick out five colors. They can be monochromatic. They can be five different colors from dark to light. Um, I like the monochromatics. I haven't tried different colors yet. It does give you instruction. As you can see, you don't color in all of the circles, but it does give you tips on picking your colors in every book. So that's the icons. I have not colored in either the masterpiece or the cats but they're the same thing so here's what you get in the cats and the masterpieces if you're curious all right so we've been through all those now let me get the remainder all right so what's left are basically my such and such diva books and a couple of jade summers prachi dewan sachin such diva and this one i just got the other day which is a mystery mosaic color by number dogs and wild animals this is by um sunny publishing i wanted to try theirs out because it looks like they will be beautiful when they are done there's the color palette so we will see we got one to see what they were like <clears throat> All right, Sach and Sach Diva. We will do these um, more than that. Hang on, they get separated. Yes, they did. Okay. So, Mosaic Art Series. So I have, and I'll just go through these because he doesn't have examples. And I haven't colored in this one or that one. Or that one or this one I have colored in vintage cars which came out really pretty my markers are yellowing so I did that one they are beautiful aren't they and then mosaic art sea creatures I am, I have the most done in because I've had this the longest um, where I stopped. So, mm. This was his first. It has the largest squares. Um, it has a color palette, like his normal color palette. Actually, I think it has more. Let me look. it so the color palette on this one oh I can't remember how many it has I haven't got my thing with me one a lot more than his normal one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one fifteen 
34. And he has 24, 21. They all kind of have different numbers on them. So they don't all have exactly the same, but the Mosaic Sea Creatures has the largest palette. Then I have his stained glass series. I have stained glass nautical designs, which I've done a couple in because I have had it the longest. So that stained glass wildlife. I have not done anything in, but it's beautiful. Stained glass Egyptian designs. This one is beautiful. I think I did a flip through of this one. I did that one. And then Tiffany Windows, which I think was early on. His second one. He did Nautical first, and then I think he did Tiffany. I started this one and I didn't finish it. So that's the Stained Glass series. Um, I have a paper cut art. Um, this one is fairly new to me. This is Silhouettes. Hasn't been out all that long. It's cute. I just did that one not too long ago. And then, let's see. I have cute dinosaurs. Which is all kinds of cute dinosaurs. And I did. I did this one for Crafting with Christie's Birthday. And it was a Buddy Carla color with ER Joy. And I think I did this one in the front because dinosaurs are awesome. I have Cute Animals, color by number by Such and Such Diva. This is one of his kids' ones. He doesn't have a palette, he just has the numbers down here, and you kind of pick the colors. So I was doing all kinds of fun stuff with this. I completely watercolored that. I did that one in an alcohol marker, and then this one and this one both. I was using different shades. I blacked out the colors, but different shades of gray because it just says gray all for number five. But I used different shades to kind of make him look a little more interesting. Different shades of green, different shades of green because see, they're all threes. So I was doing something to make this look really cute. Um, I have 50 Celestial Mandalas, which is really pretty. I did, I did this one the other night, this one. This one's the color by number version. You can get it in the non-color by number version also. This is Love for Fabrics Collection by Prachi Dewan Such Diva. And this has, um, this is the Love For collection, sorry. It has Love For Fabrics, Love For You, Love For Christmas, and Love For Flowers. And it does tell you where they stop and start, but I've done a couple in here. I did the, this page. I did that. I did this one. I haven't done anything else, but these are all those fabrics, and that's Christmas, or love for you this is christmas and then flowers this is at the beginning so that was awesome i have love treats by Sachi and sachadeva which is another kid's book he doesn't have a palette he just puts the colors at the bottom uh nikki niagara finished this book so i just kind of use cheap markers and do that one I have Butterfly Color by Number by Satch and Satch Diva, another kid's book. Doesn't have a palette. Just use your own colors. I have Cute Dragons by Prachi Dewan, Satch Diva, of course. It's a dragon book. I can't say I buy all dragon books because I do not like all dragon art. However, this one is very cute. I did this one. I have Russian Dolls by Prachi Dewan Such Diva. I have not colored in this one at all. And I have Magical Artifacts, which is a really cool book. I have not colored in it, but it is really neat. 
very pretty. All right, and then I have my um, two Jade Summer Color by Numbers. They're both pattern books. This is the very first one they came out with, Color by Number Patterns. Everyone hated the palette. That's brown tastic. That one wasn't so bad. That one I haven't finished. This one was a... This one and this one were random marker challenges. That's kind of what I started doing is just picking random markers to see how they come out. <laughs> and Beautiful Patterns Color by Number, which was their second color by number, I think. Um, they haven't done any more. I kind of like how I did that one. I put gel pen. I mean, it has the same palette, but I think they distributed the colors a little better. But then again, who knows? And finally, Unicorn Color by Number by Nikki Sharma. This is just a kid's book. Unicorns. Color palette at the bottom. Um, so the unicorns are yellow, which I didn't like. So I started... Well, this one was pink. He really was pink. So I let that go. That was okay. And then this one was supposed to be yellow. But I haven't made him yellow. He's going to be white. I need color in his heart. I was using watercolor. I have so much fun with these kids' books. And that is all of those. Let me get my Disney. All right, before we do Disney, we are going to do my Mindwear books, which I have two sets. I have Mystery Mosaics. Um, I have books one through 11. Um, if you wanna see the covers, there's nothing to see in them. I mean, I can show you the answers. Um, but they are really cool. Uh, I think they have 18. So I, I mean, obviously I'm, I'm on book two. I finished book one, which I can show you really quick. This was the very first one I did. Of course I screwed it up. It seems like I always do that. But these are what they look like when they get done. There's just all kinds of pictures. This is a double page. Chinese dragon. This is a double page gondola. Just let me get in there. It's hard to get it folded back in. There it goes. And then let's see. I have my seahorse and a hamburger, dragonfly. Strawberries. This is a double page peacock. I'm using the carousel horses. It's very pretty. And the sun, which is the cover of this one. And then soccer players. And a mermaid. And a ram. And that's that. They do have the answers in the back of all of the books. Um, so I would say this, if you're looking at a particular book, I know um, Lisa, Lisa's, col um, Lisa's Coloring Corner, uh, she actually pulled all of her books out and showed you all of them so you could see the answers. That's how I knew what I wanted. Um, but really, I was just back to front. Oh, I can show you the ones I did. I'm working on book two. I'm just going... Um, book one, book two. So I did that one. That one was a tiger. And that's my next one, whatever it is. I could look in the back and see. Oh, it's a bug. And I got a birthday cake and a farm scene and a car. So it's a, pictures are random. I know they repeat at some points in some of the books. So a few picture, pictures repeat. Then I have my color counts books. These do not have answers in the back. Um, if you didn't know, and these are really hard to show you. So you have an, a color by number, and then they give you a non-color by number where you can pick your own colors. 
which is cool. So I have fairies. I have adorable animals. I have animals. I guess I could show you the backs. So because it, it does give you a couple of pictures on the back. So this is the fairies. I'm doing this very badly. I apologize. Um, this is the adorable animals. This one is just animals. Sun catcher. Celestial. Uh, this one has glitter with it, um, and it was on the front, and this is just um, quotes, words to live by, and I'll show you what it came with. It was a tube of glitter because I have some that I've actually done. Um, anything with an asterisk. Uh, you use glitter. Used to, they'd just throw a couple, a bottle of stickles in with every one that had that. But they don't do that anymore. It had that marker attached to the front. That's why it's all messed up. Under the sea. I did that one. There you can see every, every one with an asterisk. You put the, the glitter over top and it kind of makes it shine. It's really neat. Some of the pictures there. Magical Forest is the same way. It came with glitter. They're really cool. Beautiful pictures when you get them done. There's some other pictures from that one. And then Tropical, which I haven't done anything in. I don't know if this one has glitter with it. I don't think I do. They all don't. Not all of them do. Nope. And this is Mythical Fantasy. And those are all of my Color Pounds books. So a couple times a year, Mindware will have a sale where you can get, they'll have a free shipping sale, which usually it's 50 or $75 you have to do for free shipping. Um, but they'll also put them on sale where you buy three, they're 30% off, which is really nice, I have to admit. So, but anyway, that is that. Okay, so I promised my Disney books, and that should be it. All right, my Animal, which is a small book. I haven't really done anything in here, except I started this one, and it's in pencil. I almost have it done. The color palettes are on the side. These are all squares, four by four. Three by th I think they're four by four. I don't remember. So here's all the pictures in here. Um, and then I also have oh, I'll do these first. I have these smaller ones. These are called considered the kids' versions. Um, these atelier. I can't remember what that means. Atelier. Friends, companions, but uh, these are the pictures in here, and these are double-sided, and they color in the really small spaces because this is a kid's book, and I love the little paw prints at the bottom. The palettes are at the bottom, um, so it's really neat. These are really neat books. And then I also have Animo, same thing. Beautiful, beautiful. Same thing, they color in all the really tiny areas because, because they assume kids can't do that without making a mess, I suppose. <laughs> it's really fun to look through and see all the eyeballs. That's those, and then I get into my big ones, uh, as Pixie likes to call them, my spendy ones. <laughs> I will never forget that. Oh, you like the spendy ones? Yeah, unfortunately I do. <laughs> it really, it does make me laugh, because it's, it's so true about so many things in my life. Um, it's expensive. So, um... Here are the answers. This is, sorry, I guess I should have said that. C 
Creature Fantastique. Voyage Mystère. Disney. My French is not great. It's because of my French that I cannot speak German. Because every time I try, I... Uh, it's just, they're so different. I have such a hard time between the French and the German. I can't pronounce the German correctly because I learned French. <sighs> I can read. I can understand. Talking is a completely different thing. Maleficent, so I, I collect Maleficent pictures. Then I have Grand Classique Cercle, which is circles. They're all different kinds of circles, but circles nonetheless. We'll see about the answers, so you can see the pictures in here. Maleficent picture. I've been collecting a few different types of books because I wasn't sure what I would like, but I was pretty sure I would like this one. If anybody wants to see, like, what pictures are in this one. Some of these are a little pixelated because of the way they did them, but I'm pretty sure they're okay. It is what it is. that one. Then uh, we have, and they're all out of order now, so we have the tomes. I have tomes one through seven except for number three. So tome one, um, if you look at Bruno Gallery, Bruno something, he does like all of these. I was doing this one in pencil. I haven't gotten back to it yet. This is tome one, by the way. Um, I'm getting ready to do a picture. I'm getting ready to do this one. I've treated this page with satin glazing liquid. This one I'm doing an acrylic marker. I have not finished it yet. This one was a buddy color with Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors. It's acrylic marker and pencil. This one is just water-based marker, which I was not happy with, so I'm trying different things to see what makes me happy. So, that's that. Um, I have tone two, which I know, I don't know if you if, if anybody wants an in-depth showing of these, let me know. I think probably most of you that are interested have seen these by now. So I didn't want to spend a bunch of time showing them. Um, but here's the, the palettes are all at the bottom. There's not a standard palette for the book. If you didn't know, they're all at the bottom of the page. I just did this one for Pixie's Disney Coloring. Um, rabbit, it was, we had to do a rabbit picture. So I had him. It's all water-based marker. Even though that made me happy, I was still trying some things. It didn't work out. Then in four, like I said, I don't have three. Three is for some reason hard to get right now. But I can give you an idea of the pictures in this book. I mean, I might as well do that. This one is very similar to that one. It's a hundred pictures. This is a double-sided book. They're all that way. Tome five. Now, tome five, the is different. This is the way it's drawn. It's very interesting how they did it compared to the other ones, the beginning ones that I have. Um, the line work is really different. And then I have tone six. Sometimes it'd be nice if they did more, I don't know, pictures with more stuff going on rather than just images of characters, but I get it, I guess. 
Maybe it's what everybody likes. And here's these. And then Tome 7. And this is a lot of portraits. It seems like in these last couple, it's like portrait, 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 portrait. And I don't know if it's because of the person. It's got kind of a mixture of line work in here. Um, but anyway, that's it. And I think we've made it through all of my color by numbers. Yay! Hopefully within a reasonable amount of time. All right, so we will do a part 10 with my postcard books and any books that I have missed because I've had a few new books come in. And that will be it. Part 10 should be the end. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.